Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Hacksplain. We are still working on those difficulty 3 challenges. And after we've successfully solved the API only access as challenge, we're now going to cover the admin registration challenge. The description we get for this challenge is register a user or add a user with administrator privileges. And this challenge is actually pretty easy, but because of so many of you asking me to cover more of the OWASP top 10, I want to show you a little something today, which is quite interesting. Anyway, so let's start. Register as a user with administrative privileges. That pretty much sounds like the administrator, or what am I saying, the login functionality is effective. So what we are going to do right now is to click on login, go over here, and I will create a new customer, a new user, while using Burb in the background. So we'll show you that right now. I have my Burb running. You can actually tell by now that there were some requests coming in, but we're just leaving it as it is right now. Intercept is turned off. We'll just collect the information by the website. So back to our user registration panel. It says we should log in as admin. So let's say we name our user admin at hacksplain.com. We give it a password of ASDF, ASDF, repeat that password. Security question is whatever my eldest sibling's middle name is, as usual, hacksplain. And then I will click on register and let's check what this is doing so we see that the registration completed successfully you can now log in but i'm probably not an administrator by now and i will show you right now why i have tried to capture this sign in request with burp suite because over here we do see the post request that was being sent to the server for registering the user and we can see that it is this one right over here. You can see that we requested to be called admin at explain.com, ASDF, ASDF is password, security question, and security answer. And if we look at our response, it says success and my user was created. So I want to quickly jump to a link that I've opened up for you over here, which is the OWASP API security project. So what this is, is this list gives you exactly the same thing what the OWASP top 10 is, but for APIs. And if we click quickly go back to our request, we can see that we're talking to an API. And what we're going to see today is a vulnerability that falls into the mass assignment category. And this sounds rather tricky or difficult. I'm always wondering by myself what mass assignment really is and what it means, but it says mass assignment is when um, binding client provided data, data models without proper properties filtering based on a whitelist usually leads to mass assignment, either guessing object properties, exploring other API endpoints, reading the doc, or providing additional object properties and request payloads allows attackers to modify object properties they are not supposed to. That is a handful. So like reading that, it's kind of tricky to understand what's going on. But this is what I'm going to show you right now. So I only wanted to remind you that we're going to have a mass assignment vulnerability today. And with that, let's jump back to our burp. And we see that we are sending certain a certain amount of attributes in this JSON over here to the server, but in response, we do see that there are way more attributes being listed over here. So we can make use of this knowledge and try to assign our user um, something which is actually listed over here. And if we look closely, we do see a role and it says customer. So that sounds interesting. What if I can give myself the role of 
an admin because the challenge right now is to register an admin user. So let's try that. We can actually use this request right over here, send it to intruder or sorry to repeater by clicking control R. You saw the tab lighting up and now we have it over here. So as we have already registered this user, we are going to use a different email address over here. Password doesn't really matter. Users can have the same password. And what else do we need? Security question can probably stay the same as well. And now I said I want to make this user an admin. So if we remind ourselves um, what the attribute was called, it was called role. So we're going to try to say role over here. Then we need a colon. And we are assuming right now that the role is called admin. And then we're going to use a comma character to make this a valid JSON. Actually, something pretty nice right now is the pretty print that we see over here. We're not using Chase and Beautify anymore. If you use the latest Burp Suit Community Edition, you can just click pretty down here, which make it look a little prettier. And I guess this is it. So I am expecting to get an admin user right now by sending this to the server. So let's try that. We're going to send this to the server. It says unit one created it says success that sounds pretty good we do have a new id we do have a new email and over here it says role admin so that seems to have worked so let's go back to our page and we already see that you successfully solved the challenge admin registration and just for the sake of completeness i will try to log in with that new user I called it admin1 at hacksplain.com, ASDF, ASDF as my password. I will log in and let's see if we are admin. Now the question is what the admin can do, what others don't. Um, which is a solid question. But I know that there is an administrator panel over here from the previous challenge. So I will try to use that panel. And we see that we can use that. That is only accessible to an admin. All right. So we've successfully solved the admin registration channel. Thanks for watching as usually. I uh, also want to point out one more time to check out the OWASP top 10 for APIs if you're not aware of them. And yeah, subscribe in the top right corner. See you in my next videos.